The show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. old Markiplier videos for the 300th time, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that number. I believe it. Yeah. So, a prime example, I saw Markiplier play through Soma 15 different times before I got the game myself just for the experience. And that game is a wonderful experience, even though I don't normally like horror games. Yeah, so, so Soma was really good, especially when you even, got to the computer like the the machine guy that was like all broken up and stuff and he didn't realize he was a machine and he's like are we live and i was like yeah we're live um you I said you're, you're, you're looking for like youtubers to watch or what <laughs> we can get back on that topic once we're done with the game tonight hmm. yeah that was scott telling us we're live yeah hi everyone hmm. hello how's it going i'm oh, sorry very we're subtle. very late um life happens and and drunk happens that too yeah <laughs> <laughs> drunk i mean i will i will take the blame it was my life stuff that happened before scotty's drunk stuff happened but yeah <laughs> but hello welcome back this is corruption crew retroverse does anybody want to recap what the fuck happened last time scotty's a ship got a boat <laughs> First ship drucked in a part of. I didn't. I I I heard that as shit with a T at first. <laughs> that too. Onyx and I was like, yeah, no, that tracks. And then I remembered. <laughs> Sorry, I I apologize. That's part of my southern slipping in that I absolutely hate myself for. So I'm yeah, gonna... nothing wrong with that. Um, well, last time we got onto one of the the Black Fleet, um, their ship, they're flying. Mm -hmm. They look like the Flying Dutchman, but like not green and glowing, just like. Old school, like pirates, flying Welshmen, oh, and completely black. Mm -hmm. A bit more like the Black Pearl, honestly. Yeah, that's that's where I was trying to go. Anyway, um, get on there. Um, we learned that there is like this specific kind of golem that is bound to it and going it. And Brooke decided it was really cool and smart to take this thing, uh, gain independence. And in order to do so, he actually bound himself to the ship instead. So um, I think last session was Ruck getting full control of the ship, like him and his mind and its roles are one, but he cannot leave um, cabin. Correct. Um, and then the DM said, hey, you guys are going to triple level. I, I don't know what why, but there must be time jump. That that's it. Well, right. it's also uh because we're getting near end game, and I want you guys to have all your cool shit. Um, yeah. So other things that happened. Uh, you guys decided that you are going to take the fight to the tyrant. Uh, you've decided that you would like to go to the Twilight Citadel, which you know to be his uh, headquarters in the grid, uh, and try and take him out there. Uh, you did so by plane shifting in the ship, because it and Gruck are kind of one now. Um, uh, you also, before you left, I believe Cybers went shopping. Um, as we're well supplied at this point. Correct. And we went shopping and we all got three levels. Maybe you should have had more often. <laughs> um, and you guys invited a guest to join you. Um, Basil. Yes. Uh, Basil, whose name, my last name, I don't remember. One moment. I have it. Multi Towers. Basil Sage. Yeah. Basil Time. No, that wasn't it. Shut up, drunk Scotty. Yeah. Basil Vassur. <laughs> Yeah, it was a French name. Yes. Um, uh, and they were 
I'm trying to remember exactly the reasoning why you needed them along. Were they help, help plane shift more? Yeah, I think it was for plane shift. In general, magical support. So that's oh, Gruck. I thought Gruck can plane shift. Can he? I don't. I yeah. we were using him to come back or something like that, so we didn't have He's, to. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Sorry, you're good. He's a, div a divination slash abjuration mage, and I absolutely wanted him as part of the guild, but mm. I remember there was a specific reason that I effectively asked him along, mm -hmm. and I cannot for the life of me remember what that Somebody was. Somebody was going to do legend lore on something. I don't I think, think that's he was. relevant. I believe it was him. I have legend lore. To save your I spouse. Think the, I think the two of you were going to like one was going to do on one thing and one, uh, one of you was going to do on the other. I like thought one was... of you was going to do the structure itself and one of you was going to try for the tyrant. I believe you are correct. Yes, I, I do believe you are correct. Because and just as a quick note, Vex, uh, my legend lore is ritual only. Yeah. Legend lore isn't a ritual. It, um, it's not a ritual. Yeah, I was say. Oh, yeah. it's not. Oh, that's no. right. No, no, no. Yeah, I've got. So we had this it, discussion um, last time. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it does take an hour slots. to cast, though. Yeah. It feels like no it should what. be a. It should be a ca uh, ritual spell. Especially. Yeah, but it's powerful spell. enough that they don't make it one. It's not combat. It doesn't matter at that. I point. know well enough. Scotty, I love you. I literally abused the spell so bad that a fucking genie kidnapped me because I, I bought so much goddamn incense. Okay, the, the theory very of like... That's not you. why they kidnapped you. But no, sure. they kidnapped me because I was buying so much incense that I'm like, I want a huge discount. So I rolled, but I was like a level 20 plus bard and got like a 40 something on my performance check. And she's like, okay, you're mine now. And I'm like, but I just wanted some fucking incense at a discount. You, you and got I got it, kidnapped. No, you, too you greedy. Got you got it, too greedy. To be fair. Sometimes it's good to I ask, did, but I not. didn't get, like, I, I wanted to do things other than that. But yeah. Why? The, the reward of being able to serve Her Majesty was just like a bonus. Yeah. She you have all the, all the incense you could need, you could use. Yeah, she was a mirrored noble. So insensitive. Anyway. So, I believe we left off with you guys preparing uh, to plane shift to the grid. Uh, you guys had talked about, like, plane shifting a little bit further away, hopefully, so that you uh, won't be detected. Um, but you do know that there's not a lot around that area. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's also the problem of how is Gruck going to get out of the ship. Yes, we never solved that problem. <laughs> we think... <laughs> Kevin's theory of just drop a ship on him. Hey, if it worked in the first campaign... <laughs> I mean, we, could, it, we don't think it'll kill Grug. We did think about crashing the ship into the into the place. Didn't he take damage when we the when the ship took damage? Uh, it hurt. It didn't we, he felt actually it. deal damage. Effectively, if the sh I'll I'll tell you now, if the ship takes like massive damage, like you crash it into something, you might take psychic damage, um, but not physical damage, and it won't be as much as the structure itself. Well, only one part of it is in danger. No, yeah, just your brain. No biggie. Yeah, no big deal. So I will that, right? say that the the group of you are discussing your plans on the ship so that Gruck can be in this conversation. Didn't wasn't one of the ideas thrown out there that we could ask Gunny to at least pilot us there on the promise that we were going to release him once we came back. I don't know if that's something that we discussed or if I'm hallucinating things or both. I mean, I don't remember that, but it's a good idea if you could take it over while we fight. Well, not if even he's... just while we fight. Just drop us off like it was Pequod. Go to his minimum safe distance. Wait for us to signal to return. And then on return, we let him go. Or hire him into the guild. I mean, 
Does anyone have Grant and Restoration? Is I do. Not? I do. <laughs> I could mind one of myself, but then you cure me of it. It seems uh, attached really... to me mentally. That might sever the tie if I no longer have Cindy. I don't know what that Basil, means. Basil, uh, sort of, would that, um... Would we be able to move the ship after that? No, I think this would be something to do after we change. Okay. Well, I guess first let's get an idea of where we're heading. Um, and I'll say this conversation is happening like the evening before uh, your long rest so that you guys can do uh, your spells and whatnot before. Um, Demona, you wanted to try and learn a bit more about these people, this place before heading there, yeah? Yes. Well, what are we, what are we doing a legend lore on? Oh, this is in character. Sorry. <laughs> I'm always unprepared to go into character when randomly put into the spotlight. Sorry. Um, no, you're fine. How dare. Character. Never leave character. Anything and everything we can learn about the Citadel itself. Defenses, positions, traps, anything. All right. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess that the Tyrant is probably not going to have a lot that we'll be able to find on there just because honestly, if there was, I feel like others probably would have figured it out. And the way the spell works, it um, it brings to mind any information that's ever been recorded. So a lot of what we get might actually be the stuff that was released in that mass uh, information drop by that big important henshin fellow that died. The biggest concern is flying in with an airship and running into anti-air. Right. Okay. So what I'm asking is, do you want to search? Do you want to cast your spell on the structure or do you want me to? If you could you may have a better idea for scouting. Okay. Um, I lied. It does not take an hour. It takes 10 minutes. Um, Thank you. Well, all right. Um, here it works. Uh, he sort of uh, shoves uh, some of the rest of you out of the way uh, and sits down on the floor, pull, uh, pulls out this little satchel he has sort of uh, tied to a hip and pulls out the little bit of incense in the stand. Um, and, I, uh, and the four ivory strips and starts casting the spell. And you can see uh, his eyes go um, completely white behind the glasses when he casts it. And he sort of focuses for several minutes I, I see the structure. It's very much alone in an open area of the grid. It's not it's not exactly got many sources of cover, especially for a structure as large as the ship. There are arcs of electricity all around it that definitely look like they would hurt quite a bit. They're quite large. I don't see any guards, although I, I do see several lights inside the structure and um, sorry, I got distracted because the dog rolled in and was being cute. Um, Understand. I do see several lights inside the structure and movement, uh, it seems. There is very large device on the top of the structure that seems like it may be powering the electricity field around it. Um, uh, and uh, about 10 minutes later, uh, the spell ends. He sort of 
Uh, well, I, I can show you some of what I saw. Um, uh, and he's going to cast Major Image and basically show you guys the art piece that I showed you. So for anybody that's curious, it's a... Uh, I have I have no idea how to say this name. Uh, I'm trying to say the name of the art station artist. Ah, uh, here let me pull it up. I can probably four eight C three C F P A. No, no. It, yeah, because I actually clicked the link to get their name. Uh, Jing Jing Xun Ju. I think yeah. I'll just drop here. Oh, one sec. Here, I don't make this the easiest possible way. Twitch. Yeah. Twitch. This is fantastic art some of the best i've seen in a while um uh basically the structure sits alone uh in this starry void uh there is a stone walkway that sort of winds up to it that is quite large probably large enough to fit like 15 20 people across um but there's no cover really between it and the front door the front door uh, leads to a uh, basically a, a castle atop which is this tall almost diamond shaped structure and inside the center of this diamond is this crackling ball of blue electricity that every couple of moments you can see arcs of it just expand out almost like um, a uh, solar flare around the building. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How big does that area look like the area that it seems to cover off? Uh, that the electricity is going over? Yes. This is cat not understanding sizes <laughs> well, because I don't know how big a castle is. It, it, it is effectively the size of like a, what would be a very large castle, a gargantuan structure at least. There's a little guy in the forefront of it. Yeah, that's about your size comparison for mm -hmm. how big you so guys would be. So maybe the size of Stormvale. But the uh, more the reason I'm asking, you're wondering how big the ship is compared to it. No, actually, not that. Oh. Uh, I'm asking in terms of range because we know that the um, that apparatus on the top controls the electricity, right? Mm -hmm. We might be able to take that out from a distance, depending on what, how far away we can hit it from. Potentially, yeah. I mean, I don't know about the rest of you, but I have pretty good range. Might take a bit to bring it down with, you know, Eldritch Blasts, but... I don't. Do you think you're, you could outrange it? I could, rain, I could rain fire on it, but I think I'd be a little closer. <clears throat> I would need to be directly in its face. And that's why we ram it with the ship. Does it have a face? I think I need a bigger fist. <laughs> that's what she yeah, said. Yeah, the the actual structure that makes up the uh that ball of electricity, that core heart of it, is probably at least like 20, 30 feet tall. It's it's quite large. Um uh, Basil says, for what it's worth, I can't imagine that they're going to allow you to just pelt it with Eldritch Blast. I feel like we're going to need something a bit more intense unless we would like to deal with waves of reinforcements. Just because I didn't see any doesn't mean they're not there. Mm. This would be one of those situations where having Earthquake would be so fucking awesome because you just stand outside the castle, cast Earthquake, and the entire thing crumbles. Brock looks at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could come at it from the bottom. Did you guys want to do that? Wait. The main problem if is we, we did getting come to the, the... the base of the castle. My current. Well, if you can convince... Um... Guinea was it to take over for a time he could get us somewhat close it, it being the grid I don't know what the gravity is like there it being the grid sometimes it can be like earth gravity sometimes it can be 
uh, you can control your movement by the will of your mind alone. It really depends. We may have to use some method of flight to get closer, at turn, least unseen. I could turn everybody into cloud. That worked for us the one time we were trapped in a pocket dimension. Yeah, that was cool. Your cloud. The main problem is it takes a long time to switch between being a cloud and a Maybe. Well, if I mean, if we're unseen, then a minute won't matter, right? I guess so. Could you leave the ship as a cloud? I think we determined probably not, right? Um, yes, but I just wouldn't, as a cloud, be able to leave the room in, of this ship. Then, okay. Then I don't know. Yeah, I think our first our, our first thing should be to try and figure out how to get you out of this. I feel like the easiest way would be to use the golem, but I understand that you've made something of an alliance with them. So does it have I to be bound to like a living soul? Predators. I, uh, I mean, that's what it seems like. It can be mm -hmm. argued that golems don't have souls, though, but it may need to be tied to a creature. Does it need to be conscious? <laughs> Does it need to be like more than like a frog or a, a newt? Oh, that's a good yeah, question. I'm going to knock me like... out and see if you can take me out of this room. I was going to say maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, Onyx, Onyx knocks frog out. <laughs> we'll just do Ooh. the classic like Greg Bolzi. I will, like, karate say, chops I will say, your level, just... your level 20. He's allowing it, not resisting. I will He's a weenie. Life Couldn't you use a drug instead of a fist? You could just. Do Why? That. Onyx is also a monk, so she's probably going like, to do some. Onyx is the strongest. Bro well, Onyx that's true. Is the strongest drug there is. Don't worry about it. You could just do like a Vulcan nerve pinch or something. Question. That, that sounds like a stunning question. strike. Onyx. What's your question? You're a stone rye, yeah? Yes. Can't Gruck do meld with stone? I don't think that works on organic stone. I'm pretty sure that's a racist, but it's like pseudo racist. Stone <laughs> is like a specific part of I'm not 100% stone, okay? Okay. Just like I said, out of curiosity. There's also some metal in there. and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Magnetic fields. <clears throat> I also so might have someone who might be able to take over if they're willing to as well. Because Onyx knocked me out. Did you, guys, have, did you guys want to oh, try that? Out of yeah, we we gotta, well, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The moment you, I assume, the moment you say, Onyx, knock me out, you yeah. are already asleep <laughs> by the time that sentence ends. Okay, then Grug Onyx, knock me out. Done. But you say out, and you're already on the ground unconscious, I assume. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. And Onyx just puts you on her shoulder and just walks out. Uh, you make it works. to the door. And Gruck's feet, like the upper body of Gruck, just kind of stays in place, and you just feel him like pulled over your shoulder. Okay, so Gruck can be really fucking lucky that um, it isn't his feet that stay inside, and the rest of it goes out because Onyx would have absolutely sacrificed something here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to regenerate spell. It's fine. <clears throat> Okay. Druids are one of the weirdest classes that you can get away with that kind of shit. Onyx, Onyx just, okay, well, that doesn't work. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I will say because this is like, it was a consensual KO. We wake him up with <laughs> a smelling salt. Smack him, a, smack him awake. It's a CKO. Him a couple times. Central KO. Some, somebody so, probably has a healing spell. This, we don't I know. have this, multiple healing spells. There's this house rule that I Passion. Like I am mocking. made of healing spells. For, for knocking out people, and that is basically you do an attack, and because it's like a knockout attempt, instead of like rolling damage to like, and it just gets subtracted by the HP, they have to make a con saving throw against your damage, how much you rolled. Mm. The DC harder, the more damage because, they are. Yeah. Yes. So good luck when Onyx rolls, I would roll like a crit, and it's like 43 damage, and like... <laughs> But yes, probably wouldn't be that high, but I like that rule. Either way, I mean. Yeah, so Gruck, you come too, and you are lying on the floor in the same room. Well, 
So worth the try. I assume you guys didn't just Maybe if I kill you. you. Oh, yeah, we took out the whole citadel already. Oh, I mean, so what we... happens if someone were to oh. kill you? Then we drag you outside and someone revives you. I, I think let's not only, try that. I think I'm the only one that has the magic abilities in order to do that. I can revive you, but I don't like this plan. I don't consent to murder that sounds a bit risky. as that a strategy. A bit risky, even for me. It's, it's not murder. It's just, I think uh... the only plan is either to destroy the ship somehow the way that the, the creator did or bind it to somebody else. Like Cyrus. Hmm? Do you think you can strike the barrier? This whole ship is made of... That's true. Uh, be yeah, I it, can... might, it might back, give me a psychic feedback, but we'll know it immediately, and I am resisting. I'm willing for you to take that risk. As a sacrifice, I'm willing to, to make. Be I was, fair. God fucking damn it! I was gonna say that you also take the risk, but you're made of goddamn hit points, so say, no, you don't really. And to be fair, you'll also be hurting yourself in the process. So. Yeah, for barely. Well, that, for that's part of it. That's part of it. That's the fun part. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll try to do that. Use some sort of knowledge of corruption to try to break down this specific uh, effect of corruption. You max it out. Oh yeah, is that a thing? I how does this work? It, I think I've done this one time. I've done this like once or twice of, ever. It's a lot of hit points. You do. I mean, it's not like we're gonna take a long rest after this. So is yeah. it like five hit points per layer? Five or ten, one or the other. I feel like it changed at some point. Yeah, I'm checking it now. I have so many different things I have to look through to figure out. Um, I know it says a fray can be corruption. closed. Oh, it got expensive. Uh, you can cure one level of corruption per 20 hit points spent. Oh, that's right. Uh, you cannot bring yourself to zero hit points with this ability. If you heal one or more layers and the creature is corrupted, still corrupted, you instantly learn how many layers they have remaining. Let's but do it. But it's creature specific. But it also works on phrase. We've determined that as well. Yeah. So if this is some, I, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to try it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. How many hit points are you spending? 100. I mean, you could literally just try using like a low amount to find out how many layers it has and then go from there. That's true. If you said, you said if it fails, I know how much it will take. I got to be honest. Spend 140, I can heal you in two actions. I you just take... Like most I could take a nap. Healing. I could just take a nap. Or... Yeah, you say like we don't need to worry about healing right just, now. Like just give me so a sandwich in a few episodes of twelve. Seconds. Use all of them. Just use all of your HP <laughs> down to like until you can't. Well, just my level twenty on. feature is not to die when I get down to zero. <laughs> you want to do it? No, but I'm going to you... use. <laughs> I'm going to use a minimum 400. just to see if the theory is practical. And then okay. if I determine that it is possible, then I'll have a better idea how much. I'm okay. very concerned about the people that I've hired into my guild now. It's a scientific method, you know? You got to try one thing and then try the next. Then Demona remembers how we all were at level one. is like, oh, yeah. Um, well, these are I will sinking. say, because of your familiarity with corruption, go ahead and roll a... Um, this would be a <clears throat> wisdom check with advantage just to sort of look at the corruption that makes up this ship and make sure that you are breaking down the barrier that's keeping Gruck in versus like the structure of the ship itself. Yeah, that's hey. uh, that was good. I got a 21. Okay. Yeah, so you um, look at this uh, and sort of looking at the corruption that makes up this this ship, it's it's strange. It's It's the same like, uh, green zeros and ones that you're used to, but mixed in with other characters that you've never seen before. Uh, and this strange language, two doesn't it, exist. it seems. Um, uh, it, effectively, I don't know that you would know it, but this is the corruption language that shows up very, very rarely that Gruck can speak or, or read, um, but he can't see it. Mm -hmm. um and 
uh, you're able to sort of parse out where this barrier is uh, compared to like the actual structure of the ship. Uh, and looking at it, it's it's a lot. It would probably take um, give me a second while I look at my notes. Uh, effectively, it has probably close to 10 layers. It like 200 HP. Mm. It would sting, but now that you know where sting. the barrier is, sting is a word. He's got like 600 hit points or some bullshit. I've got half that. <laughs> <laughs> if it's, I feel like I can do it it's without. Still over half your hit points, but. I mean, oh, but it doesn't matter. We can just sleep. Yeah, we're in a world where one night sleep fixes everything that can be fixed. And also, if you didn't, I have healing. Scotty has healing. You're fine. It's too late to reroll, so. I have negative yeah. healing. I'm not so, quick enough to reroll in as, one night. As an, so if if yeah, as a certain Italian athlete once said, "Here we go." He's talking <laughs> about Mario. Mario, Mario. That's right. Not Mario, so, Luigi. You Luigi, Mario. The... Yes, if I feel like I can do it, mm -hmm. and it's not going to like destroy my entire soul and person, then I'll do what it takes. Or or maybe mine. Oh, I didn't even think that. Did you feel that when I, when I... <laughs> stop um, me if this hurts you, uh, Grok? For that one, like you, you felt a little like the sort of tingle of like when you start to get a foot cramp, but it doesn't really evolve into a cramp. Like it, it starts like it would hurt, but it's not really enough. But you also know that he did like the barest minimum. Grok would literally describe it the exact same metaphor. Do you want to get high first? <laughs> it might help take, it might ease the hey, passage. Hey, passion, you hold it? Ten hands over. <laughs> Demona? Unconcerned, she's just smoking her own cigar. Oh, no, 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 no. He's like, has it rolled? He's asking for a light. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. This yeah, is what you no. are. You've been reduced to our our, our uh, fancy our lighter. lighter. I mean, so if Demona doesn't deliver, Onyx will like, um, like Onyx will deliver. Like fist together. Yeah, no, she'll like, uh, like you know, like a Flintstone. Use your fucking fist as because a she has like no, no, she has like metal in her like, and the metal like creates a spark. I mean, That's I do so have extra. a natural lighter. Not that I ever use it. Okay, Grug, Grug would be probably, because it'd be a lot less demeaning, be like asking for your life. Come on. Yeah, tosses it over to you. Yep, then, there you go. I guess Grug and Cyrus are uh, so, blazing. Uh, Cyrus is not going to get high for this. He has to use it. <laughs> I have to Sorry. concentrate. Puff, puff, patent into passion. It's her stuff. And I've heard it takes about 40 minutes to come into effect, so we can Give him time for that. I, I read uh, that somewhere. Basil will also uh, partake if you guys uh, offer. Yeah, national offer. Oh, okay. Offer it around to everybody. It's what I... you guys do in D&D. &D. Uh, we all just sat around in the ship and got high. I mean... <laughs> because I got high. Honestly, yeah, that tracks so fucking hard for this party. I feel like this is... We started yeah. the game this way. We might as well end the game this like way. Like 100%. Up. What are you guys doing in Corruption? We got high. You know that 70s show? When they when they're in the basement and the camera like is in the middle of the table and it like pans to each of them, mm -hmm. like it's good. Like I think it's going to each of us. And it like starts on Gruck. Gruck's like, you know, as a druid, I'm actually surprised I don't do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a person who has apparently a light, oh, uh, multiple lifetimes worth of weed, I'm surprised you haven't. Which is still growing. Yeah, it's still growing. Mm -hmm. Possibly little... even better now that the who knows the what the fuck is, your apartment it, looks like at this it point. Ever stop growing. Oh no, there's a neighborhood fire. <laughs> no, but there's no one to really cut it back. Yeah, Seth can. Uh, so after Let's a few it. minutes, uh, Gruck, you have a good buzz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a word. Uh, Basil is like, um. 
Should we not be in the room for when this happens? Probably a good idea. Catch yeah, him gonna, when he I'm falls. Step out. Uh, Grunt just sits down. He like backpedals down the hallway about five, ten feet, and then goes back another 10, 15 feet. <laughs> Uh, so, Cybris, you sort of focus on this part of the corruption language here, that you, the code that you can see, uh, and start unraveling it. Uh, do you want to describe what it looks like when you uh, defrag something, considering it's been, like, two years? <laughs> I think I did it one time against that fray in the sky. Oh. <clears throat> if either of us mm. pass out here, and I conjure ten good berries, who's going to hold on to the good berries? Action well. You just throw them on the floor. Uh, so you guys know out of character, they heal one HP. So it's like if we go unconscious, you just feed one. I mean, yeah, like I said, we have so much fucking healing at this point. Yeah. I have a secret candy corn too that I can bite into if I'm about to go out. Nice. <laughs> it counts as food. That's also cyanide. Yeah, I have I was a let's cyanide say, what is this, this a cyanide tablet? tablet? I it's mean... like that, but it's food. He's got shark teeth. They come out all the time, so he's got lots of spare room in there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. Let's be honest. If anybody in, in either group had a cyanide tooth, it would be passion. Oh my god. I just thought of a cool idea for like a um corruption layer idea. You grow a big beard that counts as a very, very, very small bag of holding. Beard of mm. no beard of holding, and it can only hold food. It can hold one cubic foot or stuff. That's a big piece of food. It can hold multiple rat. It can hold at least two rations. Just imagining a dwarf with a fucking baguette sticking out of his beard. Yeah, isn't it cool? <laughs> you can put one of those giant turkey legs in there. Gets real stale and he just beats people with it. Anyway, it's weapons yeah. Weapons grade. Okay, so Cybris plants his feet. He puts his hands up about where the, the gap in the doorway is and his two mm -hmm. other arms up like in the top corners to brace himself. And then starts concentrating on it and some of that light comes out of the hands and sort of like you see the barrier start to glow and re reverberate with the same light. And then I think he like sort of reaches through with his fingers and pulls it apart and absorbs the light part as it vanishes around it. Uh, okay. Gruck, you actually for a second can see the shimmering form of that code and can feel, it, it, it feels almost like I don't know the reference. Sorry. It's from Mass Effect, I think. Yes. Arya Talok literally did that as a biotic using psionic powers ripped apart a, an energetic barrier the exact same way. Oh, well, I'm older than she is, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boomer. Um, nope. Grok, it, it feels like almost what getting like your hair pulled out is but inside your physicality and in, in your brain, if not in your soul. Um, Cybris, you take 200 hit points of damage. Uh, oh. And Gruck, Whoa, you take... Blue and violet. Uh, a 131 psychic, which is reduced to half, right? Mm -hmm. So 65. Oh, so close. Send <laughs> <laughs> a few more damage, Tack. Come on. I uh, yeah no the dice were actually the dice were pretty great like that's that's pretty average uh and you gruck it hurts like your everything hurts you have a splitting migraine but you can't feel the ship I can't not anymore what what's happening does the ship it, like still well like place? like you're it, it, it's still there you just you had that consciousness of like feeling like you could control it and you could sense everything aboard it that that awareness of what's going on on the ship vanishes and you know that you don't have control right now whoever i do believe you guys parked the ship like literally put it down to ground because you weren't sure what you were going to do and how you were going to get out of this. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I'm sure we're smart. Right. Slowly and cautiously it just tries to take one foot out the door and then the next. And check you it all step out. out. Yep. And I... No problem. No right. resistance at all. 
feels just like walking on a ship. Ears bleeding. I've done it again. <laughs> um, Gruck looks at you and goes, heal, heal. And you heal 140. <laughs> and I feel much better. The rest. Only 140? I cast heal <laughs> twice. <laughs> Only 140? Damn. Okay, I'm pretty good now. I could heal the rest, but... Well, we're, we got a nice rest ahead of us. So it worked then? Uh, so far. Fantastic. Oh, like pushing a boulder up a hill. And then tearing the boulder I'm going to assume that that meant it was very difficult and painful. You definitely look like you could use some... I am a bit... A lot of healing. I am a bit lightheaded, and I'm not sure if it's from the pain or from the, from the weed. Here... Um, Probably both. Ears bleeding. Oh, I thought I felt something more. Well, so then are we plane shifting there, just the group of us, or are we taking this as well and having somebody drive it? Um, if we can still drive it, it's faster than walking. No uh, Greg, you know that you cannot control it like this. Yeah. Right now, it is basically inert and am, can't move. I am unbound. There's no pilot. You're going in without it. Got it. That sounds like a good idea anyways. I feel like he has something in contingency for these. <clears throat> yeah. mm. Well, I'm ready first thing in the morning. Was that the plan? Sure. Works for me. Sounds like we should I feel like we should be doing that no matter what after what you two just did. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's very sounds tired like a good right idea. now. It'd be nice to sleep somewhere that's not cabin. I'll start like a little stir crazy. Not a fan of hammocks. I'm a fan so, of hammocks, but not when I'm not outside. When we when we do this, are we going in through the front door underneath, like you had suggested? A place like that probably has some sort of underneath tunnel system, like sewers or catacombs or something. If we could get that, in there, we'd be safer. That would make it easier to, what is it, stone shape that can do that? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that or mist form. Well, when you when you guys get I, there, you I guys... liked I liked Onyx's idea. Maybe we should bring the place. Huh. If it could work, I would agree with that. But we don't know what gravity looks like. So I mean, it I may mean, just float there or drift away or something. It would still destroy the structure enough that it would perhaps reduce a lot of the cover and maybe damage the structure that's powering that lightning. It's a good plan. Something like that might not be quite as stable as it looks. Fragility. Uh, typically, something that powerfully looking arcane is a... Uh... Yeah. Um, I do have a spell that may be useful. Uh, it only works for about an hour, um, but uh, especially with large distances, it may be helpful. Uh, make it so that uh, the group of all of us could communicate telepathically. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah. Mm. That's a good plan. That way, Regardless of how far away we are or distant, we can coordinate. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a good idea. I think we've got a good plan to go. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, Demona, were you going to do any? Um... magic incense spell legend lures before bed yes i definitely wanted to go ahead and cast my section of legend lore on the oh, guy himself oh, oh that's right let me give you part of the somatic or the material component for a cancel lighter back for your phantoms you already tossed it to me before oh right 
Sure, you're just drunk, Scotty. No, 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 this is crappy design. And his brain got half ripped open. I feel so, like my hair getting pulled out. Most Simone, of you, never you used to have uh, sit down, light the incense, pull out the ivory strips required for the spell, and focus on it. Um, and immediately, what comes to mind are uh, the news stories talking about what this individual um, is said to have done. Uh, you literally see like flashes of those news stories for a few moments um, that uh, news uh, newscasters talking about uh, supposedly the leader of this cabal of terrorists, the circle of night is an individual that goes by the name the tyrant. Uh, it's said that he is active and alive but his whereabouts currently are unknown um there uh you see a lot more of that uh and this all sort of flashes by almost instantaneously for you um and then you see let me look at the wording of the spell because Yeah, um, uh, you see something that you are not actually there for. Um, you see flashes of a, a group of people standing around this uh, cemetery, looking to this individual that's kneeling in front of a tombstone covered in chains. Uh, and in the sky above, you see flashes of lightning. And in this flash of lightning, you see the silhouette of a tall, like 15 foot tall figure in plate mail with this massive long sword and these huge wings. Um, the uh, lightning flashes again and looking around, you can see uh, passion. Sammy. I'm trying to remember the people who were in Yost's uh, brain. Passion, Sammy, episode. Lyra. Um, I think was Bob part of that one? Yes. Yes. Yes, he was. I think yeah. that was it. I think that was the four. Um, a handful of figures you know, uh, or at least have seen before. Uh, the image shifts again and you see this individual uh, standing in a, a room that looks almost like a meeting room. It's this high tech uh, sort of setting. There are uh, flat screens all over the place and you see this figure now is wearing golden plate mail and the the wings that originally looked like feathers are actually made of like golden plate feathers um and you see them uh talking to an individual uh that you recognize as the anarchist um see uh and then you see another flash of an image of a of like a very faded mural on a wall that you've actually seen before uh a mural that depicts a hilltop upon which stands a individual and reaching up to the sky the uh mural shifts and where it once had just been stars and clouds is a fracture rip, a tear that you instantly recognize to be the eye above Del Diablo. And you know that this uh, mural that you're looking at is the one that you saw very early on in your tenure with this group when you were recovering the treaty. And that's when your spell ends. 
I would definitely let uh, everybody know what she saw. Okay. Big, heavily armored guy. Yep, we knew that. Did you mention that this individual opened the eye? Did we know that? Cat? No? No, we had no you clue guys, about that. You guys had not quite put that together. You had definitely seen that mural before that depicted it, but it didn't picture, you hadn't ever seen the imagery of the tyrant and this individual at the same time. Um, Basil speaks up, uh, just to throw it out there, that would make this individual really, really old. Yes. Just, okay, cool. Um, well, there's time travel and time works differently in different planes. Who knows how old he is? What if you can open the rift? It doesn't matter. I have a question. You guys have, you guys haven't done time travel, have you? Nobody said that. Okay. We have not done it ourselves. Wait, you know not a time traveler? Would. Yeah, we know two of them. There's there's more than you think. They don't show up though because they're in time. At least not that we remember. But I do remember promising my past self that I wouldn't go back in. My past. So far, he's kept that promise. It's not a mind you. This individual never met Trog Grog, so he's very confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I was a strong. And nobody should okay. lighten him, god damn it. Um he was on the news. Wait, no, he wasn't. No. Was He's quirky. never been on the news. Grux's never been on um, the news. I've been on the news. No one recognized me. Okay, so if this individual opened the eye, it is probably good that we're not taking the corruption ship there. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Fantastic. Super. Super. Cool. Okay. Um, I suddenly the, the fun buzz is gone. Why do you think I'm high so much? Valid. I'm going to attempt to sleep and probably lie awake for several hours. Yeah, enjoy, have fun. You want some more? If you need some more, call, you can find me. I'm gonna go, take, I'm gonna go take a chrominol and uh, take a rest. Uh, so, instead of, uh, instead of where time are you? All, yeah, where, where are you guys uh, resting? Here on the ship or? Uh, Elsewhere. Any, anywhere but the ship. <laughs> I thought we'd be staying on a ship for unknown number of days, so I set up a little area for myself. I would do transport via plants. I spent all that spell slot today. Onyx can literally stay anywhere. I will say that uh, through various means, either uh, camping out, uh, there are a couple of structures nearby that you guys know are basically abandoned at this there, point. How many stones uh, are nearby? Can I interrupt real quick? Many, and yes. So knowing that we're gonna get a long rest for this, mm -hmm. Demona kind of slaps her hand on nothing but air and uses Magnificent Mansion. Leaves the door open for anybody that wants to come in. Everybody would have their own room as what she would understand that they like. And she just walks off under her own. So if you want a, a decent night's sleep in a damn good area that's designed for what she believes your tastes are. Thanks, boss. Hell yeah. I'll do that. All right. So the next morning, uh, the group of you 
awake, uh, prepare whatever spells that you need to. What do you want to do? Proceed with the plan, I believe. I don't have any, any other reason to hang back and not do that yet. I'm good to go. Uh, when you guys, because you just did Magnificent Mansion, like, right next to the ship. Uh, when you guys come downstairs, uh, Gunny is just sitting at the, like, equivalent of whatever kitchen table Demona made. Just sort of staring off into space. As soon as one of you, like, appro comes, I assume it's a multi-structure, uh, multi-story structure. There you go. The way I had it envisioned in my head, yes. Uh, effectively, something like the X-Men's Mansion. Mm. Doors along the entryway on either side of the foyer for everybody else. Two separate wings on upstairs. Yeah. Um, so, you guys, uh, as soon as, whoever is down the stairs first sees Gunny just sort of sitting there staring out into space and then sort of sees you and hello morning do you want to come with us you are going to the grid yes yes some sort of encounter will occur to fight mm -hmm. the individual that's leading this war yes i believe yes. so We think he'll, he's the one, he's the key. And everyone knows you got to destroy the key. Mm -hmm. I suppose I could help with that. Basil comes down the stairs. Oh, so I got no fucking sleep. Yep. But I have spells, at least, and you at least no longer seem to be actively bleeding, looking over at Grok. Yeah. How's your brain this morning, Grok? Um, much better. How's um, everything for you? Right as rain. That's good. <laughs> so, plane shift then? Plane shift. All right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Should with the golem. All right. Let's do this. Um, I see plane shift. Huh. I forgot that you can use this spell to banish. Yep. Uh, so he pulls out a, a forked metal rod um, and uh, focuses on it uh, and tells all of you to gather around and uh, hold hands uh, and teleports the group of you to a realm where all around you it, it almost feels like the equivalent of being in space all around you you can see these swirling clouds of what looks like gas and little dots of what appear to be stars but you know probably aren't just because this isn't doesn't work that way i'm gonna have that stuck in my head now sage thanks um sorry i'm not uh, and the moment you appear, all of you sort of start to drop, but not as quickly as you might normally. Um, uh, effectively, it feels like sort of low gravity here. Um, 
you do see a uh, structure, a uh, chunk of floating rock. There are a handful of pieces it looks like that might have come off of this castle and the uh, that stone walkway leading up to it uh, that are sort of floating around here that you guys can make your way to sort of uh, half swimming, half falling uh, relatively easily. All right, well... Uh, and you guys can see off in the distance, far in the distance, probably equivalent of like several thousand feet, because uh, he was kind of shot in the dark for this place. Um, uh, several thousand feet away, you can see this castle. Well, it looks like we're going to have to fly. I... I do have a... A really big carpet? Give, give me a minute. And I okay. spend a minute casting Windwalk on everybody. Okay. So Windwalk um, takes a minute and you can change into a cloud. And your fly speed is 300. It takes a minute to revert. A uh, question while you're casting that. Can you talk while you're a cloud? No. You're resistant to all damage. Okay. And um, we have to second attack. blink, right? Uh, he is going to use his action to cast Rarity's telepathic bond I mean, so that you can he, talk. If he doesn't it. want to waste the spell slot, if he wants to save that, I can I have it as a ritual. I mean he might have it also as a ritual, but um it sounds like something that we definitely two, planned ahead and but... did, did in the right order. We'll say this was part of the plan and we did this as we were supposed yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, the telepathic is a yeah. ritual and then windwalk. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll say that he lets you cast it as a ritual because I'm like looking at his thing and it's like it's ping that it's a divination spell, but I don't think that actually matters really for him. Oh, there it does. Okay. Um, excuse me yeah technically that would still go off uh, he'll actually if you don't mind uh, casting it myself may actually help me out a little bit go for it because uh, that allows him to use his portent ability Ooh. I hope it's a good one Mr. Important over here So, Windwalk, he cast Telepathic Bond, he cast Plane Shift. Uh, he did cast Plane Shift from a scroll. Mm -hmm. um, and he cast Rory's Telepathic Bond as a ritual because his portent ability doesn't say that it has to be using a spell slot. It just says when he casts a divination spell first level or higher. Uh, and I will say, um, whoever would like to write it down, whoever has the best notes, or Demona, since he is in your guild, uh, his portent <clears throat> ability is whenever um, he or a creature he can see makes an attack, saving throw, or ability check, uh, he can choose to replace that roll with a four, because I'm me. Hey, I mean, hey, this is a situation where it's pretty good. We can make force that on the enemy. Mm hmm Yeah. What rolls were those again? Um, I will copy paste it. Uh, it is a attack roll, save, or ability check. Copy that. Pretty much any time you roll a d20. Yeah. Effectively, yeah. Yeah, that actually would be every time. So, you are now um, all clouds and can telepathically communicate and you are well, making your way where you can you downtown. can turn into a cloud we will just take a minute okay yeah making our way downtown yes. nope walking fast <laughs> and i didn't no, know what to say past mm -hmm. you put um, some strange 11s in there uh grok does his wild <laughs> shape stupid. 
and PDF. Imagine. Okay, what are we standing on after we plane shift? What's the surface? Uh, it's it's a it like uh, stone large stone. Or... Yes, okay, it, it is. is stone. It is a rough, rather natural looking stone. Okay, my uh, corrupted wild shape is going to be a mix between a Zorbo and. An so imagine a koala that has like ape anatomy and is medium size. And now since we're standing on stone, my skin is that same stone. Azorbo's from Tomb of Annihilation. Fantastic. Let me send you a picture. I just put this face on it. I... On a ape. That's what I am. Oh so big, while, big while stone I'm ape. in this form, I cast spells. That's 20 level. Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. So how okay. many times can he do that portent? Is it just once? Uh, it recharges whenever he casts a divination spell, which oh, is okay. why that's he why, wanted to do that's it. That's why he asked. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Divination skill. Yeah, it'll honestly, come, divination wizards are really cool. That'll come they're in super handy. Super fucking awesome. Um. So never would play one, but they're really cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually played one. I, I mean, definitely I'm, should. I'm working down my way of casters. I'll probably hit that eventually. I've never actually played I mean, a cat considering your dice luck, you should absolutely do that. Oh yeah. Because, and get and someone to roll the, and someone and to roll the portent ability. Diviner. No, get good. just get someone to roll the portent ability portent die for Even you. Even then it doesn't matter. If I yeah, roll a four, I'm just bad. gonna give it to an Fair. enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so you guys are far clouds. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> I zoom over towards the base of the camp. Okay. Yep. Uh, as you guys uh, get closer, and like, you I'm, do. I will get Freddy to knock it down. Make sure that you're not near it. <laughs> uh, you do see those arcs of electricity. I will say, just because they are kind of chaotic, and uh, Gruck, you are going to have to get pretty close. Anybody that would like to actually land on this structure on this uh like anywhere on to this and become out not a cloud uh we'll have to make a dexterity saving throw okay and i'm double checking the resistance is against non magical weapons so this lightning will go through at full day okay Rock let's uh, definitely let you guys know that we should think about floating under the isthmus and look for an entrance underneath um, you as could much communicate as he, that as he mm -hmm. can, but he's also trying to get towards the base of. Would I have to go through the uh, electric? Um, yeah, I'll field? say to to get close enough to get under it. You guys will have to go through it, uh, just because it is sort of like a um a bit of a web around it. Do we think that if the lightning does it lightning shoot out of the top of the tower or does it just appear inside of the area? Uh, it looks like that's where it's where like the energy source is, but it sort of arcs all around it as if the entire structure is mm. conductive. Okay. So you couldn't like one person couldn't block it for another person, probably. This is gonna be me probably weeping not. out again, but does anybody else thinking of the Serite right about now? Yeah. <laughs> I very much am imagining these arcs of electricity yes. as looking like just uh, lightning versions of solar flares. Oh, cool. Or real sun. Oh. What's that orb that is, <laughs> you know exactly the one what that I'm you talking touch about. And, yes. Uh, yes, yes, that. It's exactly Combination of that, about. except the little bolts that come off actually form solar flare loops. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so Gruck was doing a dexterity save? Oh, yes. Uh, was he? He was going to go check underneath the tower. Or yeah, somebody he's the was. one that's getting closest to try and do earthquake, I believe, or mm -hmm. stone shape to get into uh, the understructure. Ah, hell, forget that. Can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. Break this whole thing down. Mm -hmm. That was the plan. Break down yeah, the break it loose by maybe it'll, its foundations. Uh, it'll fall into one of those big black holes they got out there. 16 and probably barbecue. Um, Ionized because you're a cloud. 
Well, you're lucky because I lost my first dice roll because I left the app. Uh, and the second one was not as good, but it's still a lot. That's 80 lightning damage. Okay. I am no longer that wild shape form. Even as a cloud, it breaks you out of your shape? Yes. Oh, definitely. Uh, it still I'm is based still on cloud, it's still oh, your right, hit yeah. points. Um and the wall shape just has less hit points than Kruk. How, how much again? Uh eight zero eighty. And that's after he saved or before the save? Or did he save? We don't know. Sorry, what was your save? Sixteen. Oh, um actually, yeah, it would be forty. Oh, uh, you did just barely sort of zoom over it, and it basically caught, like, the the ass end of your fart cloud. <laughs> okay. That form was definitely more um, for bonus HP, but that mm -hmm. uh, And you are at the bottom of the structure. All right. It's going to take me a minute to solidify. I let okay. everybody know that. I made it. A little shocking. Watch out. We saw... <laughs> Yeah, you definitely saw this little cloud just light up. Like, probably looks a little bit like a thunder cloud. I avoided most of it, but it really hurt. <laughs> I'm just imagining just cursing and trog. Yeah, so. Call them, call them. And what are, what are you uh, casting? Um, 500 feet out from this wall, mm -hmm. right underneath mm -hmm. it, I cast her. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's, wait. let's see exactly how much casting time it takes. Did I, I want to say it's sure? just a round. Just an action. It is an action. Concentrated That's minute. what I mean. Yeah. Um, a fissure that opens up beneath the structure causes the automatically. So this whole thing's gonna. So. Uh, you point to the bottom of the structure and can see this crack just immediately form. And all of the rest of you hear uh, this, this echoing crack of thunderous sound um, that Onyx has actually heard before when he dropped prison after she left. <laughs> um, and the entire building shakes. Uh, Grok, you can see the spiderweb cracks going up through the structure and that crevice widens very slowly at first and then much faster. And you guys can see this structure starting to grow. First, these sort of uh, almost uh, hairline fractures that then very quickly expand and slowly chunks start breaking off little pieces at a time and then much, much bigger pieces. Uh, then there is a thunderous explosion and all of you have your ears are ringing and there is a burst of electricity that expands very quickly out in all directions. And we're going to pick up there next time. That's when Brock actually gets to see. <laughs> it's not so bad you Honestly, can come back as a warlock you genuinely have the best cover from it because you're underneath all of this stone everyone else was a little bit further out you got inside the field and have a little bit more cover than everyone else uh, so we'll pick up there next time uh, with the ramifications of them exploding a 30 foot tall ball of lightning and taking the fight to the tyrant. Um, real quick. Yes. For this spell, the GM needs to roll. You can, could you pull me a d6? Oh. And then it, sure. Um, just, just Scotty. Yeah. You can concentrate on the spell for up to a minute, and each round it creates one d6 fissures. Okay. Well, this will just be for the first one. Yeah, idea yeah, how just, much damage. Yes, good, good idea. I rolled a one like, because I'm me. Okay, so only one fish. I mean, of course. Up, so it's only um, it's only fifty damage, but it's seven hundred feet deep, ten feet wide. Holy shit! Seven hundred yeah, feet. I was yeah. just say, I'm sure what? the uh, the tyrant's gonna no, be shot. Oh no, it's seventy. My bad. Seventy feet. 70. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's still a lot. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, it's round one. Earthquake, Earthquake honestly is a really amazing spell. I have like this idea, like I, I, I fantasized about playing Curse of Strahd and playing a wizard or something. And at some point, w- once you learn Earthquake, just walking up to Castle Ravenloft and just saying, be Bye-bye. gone. <laughs> Bye-bye. It's, like goodbye. literally just it's, piss it, 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 it's an eighth <laughs> level. So if you're able to get up to, um, as a yeah, full cast, like, you're able to cast eight level spells. I think you've won it, already. Uh, the, the campaign, like uh, as per the book, doesn't go that long. So there's the problem. Yeah. But just, I, lo- I love the idea just to like, hey, Hey, Strahd. One of my favorite, <laughs> like, hands down favorite things that Kevin has ever GM'd was the time that we rolled up to Strahd as like 17th level adventurers and nuked him into orbit as like the cold open. <laughs> anyway, that was cool. If you're interested in that, go watch. Jesus, what was that? The Maligna one shot? Yes. Yeah, on Scotty Hood's channel. This is before the. Um... The Ravenloft book came out, where he has stats now. Oh, the new one, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll pick up there next time. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, so going around. Plugs. Um, Vex, what do you got going on? Well, you can find me on my uh, Twitch at Fracture Moon D&D. You can also find me on Twitter at VexyXE. Um, Check out my games every other Thursday and Tuesday. We just had a session of Saffron Academy. That was uh, great. And we ended up getting kidnapped at the end of it. So come check that out. Mm, that's it for me. All right. Nope. Um, uh, unless anybody else has anything. Um, my next thing that will be going live you you can close us out scott yeah that's what i was thinking it's your channel yeah um my next thing that will be going live will be baltimore by night um so that's exciting what happened last time sad Bad someone stuff. cried a lot of really sad stuff oh what else yeah is fucking new cozy had some times like sadder than yeah. normal from what i can tell Oh, that's right. We did not resolve anything to do with that ghost that got away. No, we didn't. We didn't resolve fucking anything. I, I know and it, it was there's... bad because Aya on her normal Sunday games that she runs with us is like, I can't run her game because of Baltimore by night. It's don't my mind still. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she was really broken up and she also didn't sleep at all. Uh, yeah, so go check that out on my channel. It is Crow and Chimera on YouTube. It's super fun. Uh, we also have our Dishonored game on there, which is a lot of fun and a lot of dick jokes um, and has plans that remarkably go well every time, which honestly, I don't know fucking how. Um, but they do. So check it out. And hopefully soon we'll have our Power Rangers game up there once I edit it. Uh, yeah. Great. Um, Scott, do you want to close us out? Yeah. Um, sorry for us starting so damn late. Uh, a lot of things happen, but um, thank you for being patient for watching with us. Uh, if you watched live. Otherwise, this is just going to seem like a short, short session. You're going to be like, why did the session show so short? And um, sorry, fam. It's fine. Um, everyone, enjoy your weekend. Uh, next game on this channel could be Chaos Crew tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and until then, uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll be back in two weeks, March yeah. the 18th. So, yeah. Oh, See you yeah. then. Bye. 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 Pizza time. <laughs> oh, I like that old oh, oh, same. sound bite.